Yeah, he was going to come with me. I just told him to stay and watch the tape. I like the, the Munich tape is good. Good stuff in Munich. Hello, coach. Again, episode five of our weekly update. Last week can do that, but uh, and with the second win with of the season against Helvetic Mercenaries, and this last game versus Milan, unfortunately, uh, we uh, took lost at the end. First of all, can you give me a little analysis of how the Milan match went and how you saw it? Yeah, well, it went kind of like we thought it was going to go. We played well on defense, um, kind of inconsistent on offense, and at times we kind of put it together. We, um, we had three big, huge plays on offense. We had a fumble. We had a deep ball on defense. That was huge. We had a screen pass on defense. So those three plays equal to 21 points. You know, so it's just like we talked about in the past, right? We can play consistent, we'll do well, right? And then it's just those small mistakes that kind of take things over. And then we, we end up losing the game because of that. Okay. Yeah, at the end, uh, these key moments is that, you, do you think that the, these little key moments is the, 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 the thing that losing the game or it was about the game plan, about the, some individual failures? What do you think in a specific, uh, these specific causes? What is well, the, the key? Well, I think in regards to the game plan, we stuck to it. The game, plan, the, game, the game plan will change based on what they do on offense and defense. But scheme-wise, we were fine. We were fine on defense. We played great on defense. We stopped the run like we said we were going to do. Right? We wanted to eliminate the big plays. We had two big passing plays, so that was tough. Offense kind of got things together as we were, but offense has to give us a little bit more. You know, that uh, we talked about that last drive, you know, to score the touchdown first to end the game at 18. You know, that was positive for us. We just have to build on that. And then some things will change as you'll see this week coming up. So there are some adjustments we made that we have to make. It's the sixth game. So we've kind of seen things for the first five weeks. We have to change things offensively and then just keep getting better on defense. Okay. About the changes, maybe some of the round pass holders say that if we are we are still trying to run throughout the middle, it's something that usually has not worked in, in, in a good way. But what are the plans for the next for the next thought games that we have ahead in the next? I think defensively we'll do some more things to where maybe to, to where we're a little bit more aggressive. We're going to blitz a little bit, play some little bit more man to man. We'll kind of mix it up more on defense. You know, what Coach Simmons is doing on defense has been great. Right, we just have to be consistent and the players have to perform. Right, we put them in position to make plays, they have to make plays. Offensively, we'll change some things up a little bit, probably some, maybe some more play action things, just things that make it to where we're not seeing the same thing. You know, where we're, we're changing the tempo, things like that, where we're getting more guys involved. So I think that's a part two. Plus, Levi doing what he does. Where if he has to run, he has to run more. Not saying we're going to plan more running plays with him, just that if he has to be special, we need him to be special. If he has to go by what we have on script, do that too. So just a mix, and a better balance. And as you can see, we haven't had a balance in offense at all. So that's gonna, you know, I think that change is gonna help. Okay, another round pass holder says that the use of the tight end for, for me, so to me, is not as a blocker, has been one of the weak points during the first half of the last match. The two receptions for the 18 make a feel could be a good opportunity to get some extra yards, but has not be, been used yet in the rest of the match. Why? So I think we talked about that. We have to kind of show more diversity on offense, whether it's running the ball, passing to our tight end more, getting all the receivers involved. We get Ivan back this week, so that'll help, right? We, it's just not money all the time, right? Money should be a fourth of what we do, you know, for us to be successful, right? And it's harder to scheme to beat four things, right? You can probably take away one or two guys, but if the other two guys are doing well, and if Steven's doing his thing, Tony runs the ball well, we have Aaron outside, plus money, and then Ivan, we have more weapons, and it's a little bit harder to defend. Okay. Um, well, fortunately, with the recovery of the Ivan and more, 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 more players in the in this wide receiver zone. Uh, but one of the Dragons Pass uh, holders says we have an elite an elite QB Levi and some of interesting wide receivers, but there is no time to separate, and we make short root plays. So, which no longer full any on. Uh, have you considered making changes to the some e imports, European imports, to change the O line and give more versatility to the attack, attacking game? I think it ties into the passing scheme. Maybe you know, maybe we have to get the ball out more, 
we have to kind of give what, I think what we have to do on offense is look at what they give us, attack them, make them change. Like we shouldn't have to adapt to what the defense is doing. Like offense, defense should be reacting to what we do on offense. So I think we talk about, like I mentioned earlier, about having some diversity, right? We need that. We don't want to see the same picture every week. And for the first five weeks, that's what we're seeing. So there's been a, you know, there's been an effort to change those things up and do some things this week. And I think um, guys, will, uh, guys will be a little bit more happy. We're involved in more people. And Levi will have more ways to distribute the football. Okay. For this game, the last question about all, another Dragon pass holders uh, say, against Simen, we had a good first half on defense, stopping the team and in general, and Crawford in particular. Why do you sit on the bench who until that moment was the best defensive player of the game and who had Crawford under control uh, and was the leader until now in tackles, who was Canario? Yeah, he, we bring him in specifically for specific things, right? He's a young player. So since he's a young player, it's usually that we have guys that play in front of him, one that are more seasoned, that understand the entire defense. So we try to make him come in and do specific things. So, you know, younger guys, they take a while to, to adjust and he's one of them. Eric Grassi is another one that, that is gonna play more. So I think they're gonna get their chance. And when they come in, if they perform well, that's great. Then they get opportunities to play in certain situations. But we have, the guys that we start, we're pretty solid with the guys we start. And so we'll make sure we uh, get those young guys in you know, to be able to make plays like we did with Canero. Okay. Well, I think that the Milan match is enough. And now we are going to set our eyes on the next match against Tirol Riders. So far, the best team that has played against us or the one that has done us the most damage. Right. How do you see this game in this particular moment of the team? We try to see it like we saw when the first time we played them. With, with two and a half minutes to go, the game was 15 to 7. So we were playing well on offense and we were playing solid on defense. What we did after that was just probably seven to eight different mistakes. Every time you make a mistake against a good team, they're going to score like you saw two weeks, like you saw three weeks ago. So we just go back to look what we did right. We fix what we did initially right. We have to change some personnel, but we've, we'll, we'll, we have to go compete, right? It's home. They're going to be pretty, I don't know what their attitude is. They, you, know, you score 63 on someone, you're probably going to feel confident, right? So we just need to come in and play. Yeah, and we will. Okay, and what team we will find in front of us? Because another game, it's another change with the, the QB in the roster because he's mm -hmm. seeing another QB. What type of QB are these, these or what is the difference between the other guy? Well, he's more of an RPO guy, he's pretty athletic. You know, I've watched film every night till five in the morning, right? <laughs> to kind of dissect what he does, right? He's very athletic. He makes all the throws. He's more of an intermediate guy, can make the intermediate throws, and anybody can make the long throw when someone's wide open, right? So we want to try to put as much pressure as we can, and we want him to have to make decision under duress. If we do that defensively, then hopefully he'll throw some turnovers for us. And we just want to keep pressure and stop the run. They have a really good offensive line, but we have, uh, I think in regards to stopping the run, we've done, we've done a few things on defense so we can counter that running thing. Yeah, to make them to make them be one dimensional and pass the ball. Okay. And how do you see the dynamic of the team right now? Our, our team and the, the motions of the team with this thought loss because in, in our minds maybe Milano is a team that can win and it's about small mistakes. How is the dynamic right now of the team? I well one, we kinda don't look at a team being weak. We because it's not it's not who we play, it's always up to us. So we have to play well. I think that last drive was, I thought, one of the biggest drives of the year till we went down and scored, and we ended the game on a touchdown. So it just shows that, okay, we do play well. We can win games if we don't mess up, if we don't make mistakes. So we look at it like, um, fix what you have to fix. And like we always talked about accountability with guys, we have, they, have, they have to be accountable, right? I think the guys that made the mistakes, you know, they've, uh, um, we, watch, we watch film as a team. So you see those mistakes in front of your team and it does make I can't let my teammate down. So that's important. So I think the morale is fine. We, we're gonna go and we're gonna go and play well on those guys. And we expect, our, we have a core of guys that have to play well every week. We expect those guys to play well. Okay, and the last one, and I think one of the most important for one of our Dragon Pass holders says, some of us know where we are and what the path is in this season. But what tools do you have 
so that the younger players like Canario, Eric, understand this year as a year of training and don't they get discouraged or understand that being a dragon is not something is not something negative for them. That we need because we need that young people to be a national leaders in the future. Yes. The younger guys have to look to the older guys and you have to contribute, right? So either there's two things are going to happen. You're either going to contribute to the win or you're going to contribute to the loss, right? So when you win games, right, the majority of the team, they contribute to the win. When there's one or two mistakes, we can kind of, we can get by and fix those, right? You can't fix four, five, six, seven mistakes because a good team score touchdowns. So I think for the younger guys, they need to be just as accountable. If you're playing in a game, whether you're starting or you're coming off the bench, whenever you come in the game, we, we expect you to do the same thing as a starter. You know, so we expect you to be productive. We expect you not to make mistakes. We expect you to do your job like we tell everybody else. So I think the young guys are, they're excited because they're getting a chance to play. They're getting a chance to develop. It's the sixth game of the year. We have seven games left, right? You know, so we know we have to win every game. It's pro football, all right? But we have to compete every game too with less mistakes. And so hopefully that'll happen in the future, yeah. Okay, so if you want to say something to the fans and if not, that's all. Well, like we always say to the fans, continue, thank you for the continued support, right? Um, you know, we'll get better, we have to get better. And I think the most important thing, like you said, the young players are getting better because they're playing more, right? The veteran guys have to step up their accountability, right? We need everybody to do their job. And I think knowing that we have the support from the fans, whether we win or lose, or whether we play horrible, whether we play great, the fans are still there. So we appreciate that. We appreciate the support and look forward to playing Saturday and look forward to a good show for them. Okay, so that's all. Thank you, coach. Thank you very much. This week. Thank you.